All right. Uh, good afternoon to those of you on the East Coast. Uh, good morning to those of you on the West Coast. I'm your host, Brandon Troy, host and co-creator of Movers and Shakers Unlimited. Uh, and as you well know, I don't know if you guys were checking out this week in review, which we had yesterday. Um, but, you know, I was teasing that there were a couple of shows that, you know, not only are happening this week. Of course, we have KatsuCon and many others, and we have some that are on the way next week. But we do have um, Alaska Comic Con happening in Con this week, and you know, it's awesome. You know that we have uh, uh, it's a founder on here, so let me bring him on. Without further ado, uh, Mr. Ben Penrod. What's up, Ben? How you doing, Chief? I'm doing good, man. I'm uh, you know I'm inside. It was it's uh, very cold, but um, really <laughs> I'm really hyped to be doing this show here. And you mentioned Katsukon. I'm really uh, bummed to miss Katsukon. I have a feeling that. Uh, this Alaska show is going to be the same weekend as, as Katsukon moving forward. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, you know, and speaking of that, you know, about, about the show, you know, can you talk a bit about, you know, the, the birth of this show? Cause uh, you know, you're not a stranger to uh, jump starting, you know, various shows, you know, whether it's, you know, Southern Maryland comic-con or, you know, Annapolis um, and of course, awesome comic-con. So, you know, can you, you know, just talk a bit about just, uh, you know, getting, getting the show, you know, off the ground and getting it going. Yeah, so this is kind of a uh, a unique show for me. I mean, we were running uh, seven shows this year, but this one is a 50-50 partnership with my friend Brett. And uh, we just tr traveled up to Alaska about three years ago, and we just loved it so much. And we were like, there's no Comic-Con up in Fairbanks, Alaska. We got to do this. So, um, yeah, that's what, it, that's what we've been uh, working on. Uh, we ran our first con in 2020, about three weeks before the pandemic shut everything down. And that, you know, we didn't get to run one last year and then now we're back and it is amazing, man. Yesterday we had such a big day. Um, just, you know, this is, this is such a cool event and Fairbanks is such a cool town. And I'm just so, so hyped to be back doing this again. For sure. For sure. And, you know, in, in talking about the, uh, the the birth of this show, you know, it's not a stranger to anybody. You know, we we are in interesting times. Uh, it, it, if if uh, if anyone, unless you've been living under a rock, um, but you know, to be able to provide uh, a distraction, you know, in that time with the with uh, you know conventions and and other um, pastimes, you know, the, to to uh, provide a distraction, a means of entertainment, you know, for fans is awesome and. With this show, you know, I feel like you, you were placed in an interesting, uh, unex unexpected, but still an interesting position because, you know, with doing the, from what I understand from doing the first show, you know, we had no idea of, of how the next two years would go. And now, you know, you, you're, uh, you have the second year of this show and being in the midst of that and, you know, still adapting to that and, and still putting on the show. So can you speak to that, you know, of, of having, um, you know, being one of those shows that are, you know, out the gate, you know, as as we're starting to see the end of the tunnel, so to speak, of, of you know, getting yeah. through the last two years. Yeah. And I mean, I've, this is the wait, this is the fifth show I've run since uh, June of last year. And so yeah. for about the past year, I've just been working nonstop on, you know, planning cons, planning cons during a pandemic. You know, I kind of thought by February we'd kind of be through with this obviously we're not things are still not great uh from a pandemic standpoint but we take you know precautions where we can we all you know all my staff is vaccinated we encourage our attendees to get vaccinated and i'm you know we're, we're requiring everyone to wear masks at the con um and uh you know for the most part people are complying with that and um, you know i'm not uh I'm not going to get into physical fist fights with anybody but uh for the most part the compliance has been really good and and, and comic fans and you know, fans at the con have been uh, really respectful of the mask uh, rules. But uh, man, it's it's just it's just a weird time, and we just have to do our best to keep everybody safe. Um, but but this is the first con back in in Alaska, and yeah. that has been very interesting. You know, just kind of uh, you know, we had to come up here and kind of get the take the temperature, make sure people here were 
you know, ready to go back to something like this. And, you know, this response was overwhelmingly yes. So we've been planning this show. We've been promoting it really hard. And judging by the people that came in yesterday and the pre-sales we have for today well, is just, wow, man, it's going to be huge. And I'm, I'm really excited about it. And I think, you know, we could, I, I think we're just going to have uh, another great day today. And the people here were just so ready to, come out and enjoy something like this and all the you know geeks and nerds of uh of alaska <laughs> and and, and the interior alaska in particular um we had a bit of a snowstorm on friday yeah. and i think some of our anchorage fans had some trouble driving up I, I know a few people still drove up but i know some people were like we're not we're not driving up uh <laughs> from anchorage to fairbanks in a snowstorm but <laughs> some people still did it Cool, cool, cool. And, you know, it's always fascinating because, uh, you know, in, in speaking, you know, with you, I was speaking with Sharon uh, yesterday of, of, of Farpoint and, uh, you know, Sharon. people understanding how just the everyday fan of understanding how much of an undertaking, you know, putting on a show, putting on a con is even under the most normal circumstances, you know, it's a, a monumental task of like all the moving parts. And, you know, I'm curious. You know, even with, you know, just as you said, you know, you, know, you guys have an impressive uh, lineup of guests. And, you know, I, I would love to know, you know, under those circumstances, under the current circumstances, uh, how, how you know, tricky that could can can sometimes, you know, get in, in turn under, under the, the normal, uh, the current <laughs> landscape as it stands. Yeah. Well, so, you know, the guests are just like anybody else uh, and, and anybody else who might attend a con or whatever. It's, it's just about their comfort level of coming out to a um you know it's about their uh comfort level going to a con just like you or me or anybody else i have friends who are still not comfortable going to a con and i respect that i totally get it and i understand it and um you know i'm not gonna argue with them they they're not wrong you know it's it's crazy out there but then i have other friends who are like you know, I'm ready to get back to a con ready, yeah, and absolutely. they're vaccinated and they're wearing a mask and they're hand sanitizing left and right. And, and so, you know, and, and that's awesome too. And so like, and I'm glad that people are ready to come back to cons because I, you know, I need them to come back. Uh, but it's the same thing with the celebs. There are a few people who are just not ready to get back out there on the circuit and meet, uh, you know, a thousand people in a weekend, which, yeah, absolutely. I get that. And then there's, um, you know, then there's some people who are ready to get back out here and, and do it. And so we pretty much just talked to those guys and, um, and that's great. And, it, and, and so like for our guest list in Alaska, every, you know, every year our guest list is amazing up here because we find uh, celebrities who just want to come to Alaska. Uh, we've got Jason, David, Frank, we've got Kel Mitchell. We've got uh, Jason font from power Rangers time force. We've got Leah, uh, Leah cook. For, no. What? Leah Clark, yeah. I thought you said Cook. I was like, that's uh, Justin Cook. No, sorry, sorry. Joe's Joe is Joe is uh, eavesdropping. So we're setting up. The show's actually <laughs> starting in one minute. That's the entrance, and so I'm just in our merch booth doing this. So that's the that's the con right there. Anyway, <laughs> so Leah Clark, who is uh, in My Hero, she's in Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. She's a huge voice actor uh, in anime. Big, big, big deal. We got uh, Veronica Taylor, who is the original voice of Ash from Pokemon who is um the unofficial mayor of fairbanks right now as i, as I believe she uh, met everybody in town yesterday she had the craziest longest line ever uh, we got uh tom cook who's an awesome animator we've got dan parent who's from archie uh we got aaron uh uh from effing birds we've got dan Noakes. just you know it's just like a crazy cool guest list up here that you know i, I don't think you know, I have to I have to really work hard to book this kind of guest list for my other shows. And this one was just kind of like everybody's like, yeah, we'll come to Alaska. Absolutely. Cool beans, cool beans. And, you know, in speaking to that, you know, you we were just you just coming in on the tip of the iceberg of like the guests. But I mean, you know, there are other yeah. elements that are there, too, and whether they're, you know, Q and A's, uh, their exclusives, you know, all of those various things. So. Uh, can you also speak to that of, of trying to navigate those moving parts and, you know, try to make sure that you have the right, you know, the right parties in place to help delegate those things? Because those are so many different things that kind of like juggle in the air and doing the show. Yeah. So for, you know, on that side of things, you know, right now, the 
the the difficulty is staffing, which is everywhere. The difficulty is staffing. You know, we went to we tried to go to dinner last night, and like they were on like a two hour wait, and only half the restaurant was full, and it was like they just don't have the staff. You know, and that's all over the place, and especially in Alaska, and um, and so we're having the same issues. So like, you know, uh, scheduling the programming isn't too big of a deal, but getting people to uh, you know, kind of work it and make sure everything works. That's, that's difficult. We had to find somebody to get, you know, uh, people to scan your, your tickets at the, uh, at the front door. That's difficult. Getting people to help out, uh, with the celebrities and to, um, help those guys out another, you know, that's difficult. So it's really more of a, the staff thing kind of things that's difficult of the, all the other things. That's just what I do, you know, scheduling the programming and, um, you know, getting things like that, making sure it all happens, making sure that we've got dealers, making sure that we've got guests, making sure that everybody's happy and, and putting all those things in place. That's that's just what I do. That's not a big deal. It's not a, that's not any more difficult in Alaska than it is anywhere else. And I've done it a hundred times, so I'm not worried about it. But but it's just the, the staffing problem. The staffing thing is a big problem. So like yesterday, you know, I was real stressed out and I was just running around doing things that uh just had to get done and I didn't have anybody else to do them basically. And so that was really difficult for me yesterday, but that, that's really what it is right now. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you still there? Did I lose you? Hello? All right, we have a small connectivity issue, but we're back. Oh, okay. Uh, back then, yeah, um, it was a small uh, uh, connection issue. But yes, uh, just going back to, you know, our, uh, hearing what you just said and just looking looking ahead, you know, just as you said, this is the, uh, we have the one day, the last day of uh, this edition of, of the show. And um, we our hands on a Samsung charger and cooking spray. I don't know why she needs to <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, figure stick. Yeah, we're Sorry on the again. last day of you know, you're fine. I don't know no there's a lot going on, but we're on the last day yeah. of uh, the edition yeah. of this show and you know, yeah. and looking forward, you know, that one thing that I feel is, you know, interesting in uh looking at this show and then you know, I, I know now that this show is starting to come to a close looking ahead. Um when when you're doing a show, you know, there are yeah. some elements that you that you you know very proud of that you know that that you you know did to the best of your ability and you know there are always going to be things that you always wish that you could add on or base maybe perhaps based on the circumstances of of uh, the limitations that you had you found some things that in that time that you still want to implement as things go back oh, yeah. to normal so with that being said are some are some things in that regard that you could comment on oh for this show for uh, well I would say for this show everything everything has been weird with the pandemic so there's a lot of things that when the you know knock on wood when this yeah, pandemic no, is no longer uh kind of affecting us this way right that there's a lot of things that we will do differently and that but but the kind of we're getting all this data and we're getting all this information and, and we're we're seeing people react in a certain way now that like we're never going to see again and so a lot of this information and learning that we're doing right now is worthless once there's you know again not come with once there's no more pandemic and well let me so let me give you an example really so like, in that sense. but well, well, go, well, ahead. go ahead go ahead i was gonna say well let me give you an example like maybe in terms of um maybe how lines are executed i know like you guys updated oh, yeah. what you're doing with uh with ticketing i know you guys are going yeah. paperless yeah. i understand so you know maybe oh, yeah. even as things are you know going back to yeah. what we back to normal you know perhaps there's some yeah. things that you're going to look at in that regard or maybe even with the programming of implementing like some virtual components you know even oh, yeah. so, even in that in that regard so no so yeah so you're you're absolutely right on that there are things that and then this is every single time we run a show, but but there, we're, we're definitely going to reassess everything and look at it, see what worked, what didn't work, the ticketing thing. And, and you know, a lot of that I'd love to like kind of uh, look at um, 
you know, this show, like I said, is 50 50 with my friend Brett. And so we do things differently on this show than we do for my shows that are just me, where they're pretty much all run exactly the same. And, right. you know, from a ticketing standpoint or from a, from a behind the scenes standpoint, especially because that's good continuity that you want. And then, Absolutely. you know, and then hopefully in front of the scenes, it feels very special and feels very localized because that's something we put a lot of work into. But that said, this one and then the show is very different from Brett's other shows where he runs a, sh a bunch of shows that are all exactly the same because they're all in the same venue. So, um, you know, that, you know, th this show is kind of a meeting in between. So we have to kind of go back every time and be like, hey, did this work? Did this work? Do you want to change things this time? Uh, th absolutely. So, you know, I think from the, the, the uh, you know, the ticketing and the way we do that, we, we always reassess that because it's the the world is always changing in that regard anyway and, and the ticketing yeah. thing is always kind of uh interesting uh and and so we are always looking at, at new and better ways to do that but uh it worked really you know it worked really well this time and uh not definitely not complaining about the size of the crowds we had right so so i think i think that was a good you know that's a good thing we might be able we might keep that up moving forward that's something that brett's been doing for a few years actually so he's been trying to get me to do it all here. right awesome yeah. Awesome. Well, Ben, you know, it sounds like things are getting kind of crazy over there, uh, getting super busy, you yeah. know, during the last day. It just opened up to... seven minutes ago, so, <laughs> yeah. As things start to wrap up, so, uh, you know, thanks so much for, you know, squeezing in some time to, uh, you know, talk about Alaska Comic Con um, uh, happening in, in Fairback. Yeah, thanks, man. Alaska. Um, yeah, always we got to get you up here next time. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Layers. So, Wear layers. Two pairs of gloves. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, East Coast. <laughs> hey, you know how it goes. <laughs> used to that cold weather um but yeah, with that being said, well, so it was a uh, negative 27 when i woke up this morning oh whoa okay you're used to that okay yeah it's about zero degrees right now this is nice warm weather for alaska gotcha gotcha well before i let you go man um can you tell folks where they can find you of course yeah absolutely so i'm um i mean <laughs> so for this con it's alaska comic con.com a-l-a-s-k a C O M I C O N dot com. Uh, this is going to be, a, I think we're going to be President's Day weekend every year. That's my hope at the Carlson Center in Fairbanks, Alaska. Uh, and it is beautiful this time of year. Um, uh, the rest of our cons, if you go to nerdstreetusa.com, that is uh, just, you'll just see a list of all the shows I run. Um, I'm going to be in Annapolis, Maryland in three weeks, Des Moines, Iowa in May. We have Sugoi Expo in Orlando in September. We have the Twin Cities Con in November in Minneapolis. We've got Central Florida Comic Con back at the RP Funding Center in Lakeland, Florida in January of next year. And then, like I said, we'll be back in Alaska President's Day weekend next year uh, if everything goes to plan. And all that's, right. uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a lot it's of never stress. ending, man. We, we talk about yeah, it man. all the time. It's never ending. It's, all, it's always yeah. something. So, uh, yeah. Again, thanks so much. Again, I want to thank Ben Penrod for you know hopping on the show. I'm your host, Brandon Troy, host and co-creator of Movies and Shakers Unlimited. I will see you guys next time. Later. Thanks a lot. Absolutely.